sometimes you treat your chickens and it's like the disease is not going away it's like they are still sick they are not eating they are not they're not doing well they are not growing and all that and it's like you have failed today i'm going to be addressing one situation that makes that happen and if you understand this you'll be able to treat effectively and then you'll be getting results after treatment So welcome back to DIY Hagrid, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. So I'm that number one guy who wants you to succeed in poultry farming and I'm putting out videos to help you reach that goal. So if you think poultry farming is your thing or you're looking at going into poultry farming, then you want to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you can see more videos from me. So let's start what we have to talk about today. So your case may be that you think your birds have CRD, chronic respiratory disease. Maybe you're seeing them coughing, sneezing and all that. And you just say, okay, let me get a drug for CRD. But then you have used that for a while and it seems it's not working. It's not just going away. Maybe it's not just CRD they have. Also, you may think that, okay, your best have E. coli, a bacterial disease, and you are trying to give them some antibiotics to, ad to address that. But then it seems this thing is not just going away. Well, maybe they're not having just E. coli. Maybe they're having more than that. So one thing that may be happening is this. Yeah, this is very possible, which is very possible that Newcastle disease, a viral disease, this is caused by a virus, paramyxovirus. So it may be that Newcastle disease is joining force with CRD, chronic respiratory disease caused by mycoplasma galicepticum. And maybe these two have also joined forces with E. coli, which is called Escherichia coli. Coli. So this might be the case. And if this is the case, it means you are having a complicated infection. You are having a complicated infection case. So you have to treat holistically. You have to employ a kind of holistic treatment that will cover this, this, and this. And if, in case you have not noticed, your birds will not grow if they have E. coli. It will slow down the growth. If they are having, if Newcastle disease is involved, your egg production will drop significantly. It will drop, drop significantly. And you may be, also be having shellless eggs and all those things and see how they will give their respiratory issues that will increase the death rate it will increase the mortality so you just be seeing that especially in the hot afternoons or even in the evening towards six seven you see that the mortality is high they are they get heated up during the day especially broilers and in the evening they are just dying so this may be the case and one thing you also want to know is that when crd i talked about it in the previous video if crd is caused by Mycoplasma that is transferred from the parent stock, that is, is transferred vertically from the parent to the egg, which comes out into the cheeks. In that case, if that is the way it is transferred, then those cheeks are very prone to E. coli. That is, they are very, very susceptible to E. coli. Cheeks that bring mycoplasma from the artery, that come with mycoplasma from the artery, they are very, very prone to Escherichia coli. So most of the times when they are having CRD, when they come up with the CRD, E. coli will join force with the CRD. So they are not just coughing, they will be passing out all manner of feces and this, the situation will get complicated. And also, when there is, when the immunity of the bed, when the immune system is compromised, when it is reduced, there is chance that this guy is involved. Newcastle disease virus is involved. And don't forget, 
viral diseases you don't just treat viral diseases like that you have to manage them effectively and one of the ways to manage viral diseases is to provide lots and lots of anti-stress multivitamins now especially the vitamin c the vitamins will give them will help the immune system to go up it has been compromised it has come down and now you want to give the immune system a boost you need this boost if you want your birds to survive and this is the only way getting rid of e coli is the only way to get them growing again because you see their growth curve that has been going like this will just come down they will stop growing so you want to give them a boost by giving them multivitamins attacking crd i mentioned a list of uh, drugs that you can use for crd in the crd video i'm going to be attaching the i'm going to be linking the crd video in the description below so you want to go and watch it after this video so i listed drugs that you can use for crd i also listed drugs that you can use for e coli in another video I'll, i'm going to be leaving all the videos uh, link in the description below so you want to check those things and attack everything all at once and lastly you also want to do what we call sensitivity test so you may want to do that if your scale your scale of business if you have maybe thousands of chickens you may want to do run that sensitivity test to know which one is prevalent and before long you'll know which uh, bacteria is prevalent on your farm and you already know what to use anytime the surface so these three can join forces and when they do when they do it becomes a complicated situation and you really want to attack that complicated situation in a holistic manner so that is very important and um, yeah that's it so if you think you've gotten value from this video I want you to hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you are yet to subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell you know so you don't miss my new uploads thank you very much and see you in the next one bye